Hi there, folks. This is Jim Stevenson taking you back to July 24th, 1924. Gene Tunney, the retired, undefeated light heavyweight champion, meets George Carpentier, the Orchid Man of France, in a 15-round international heavyweight bout. We're in round one. Gene Tunney on the left. Tremendous world interest in this fight. Over 30,000 fans here tonight. Many international diplomats, celebrities, and famous people at ringside. This fight is a crossroads for both men. Tonight's winner, either Tunney or Carpentier, We'll meet Dempsey for the world's heavyweight title. Gene Tunney is only 26 years old, four years younger than Carpentier. Tunney's had 46 bouts, Lost only one on points to the fabulous Harry Greb. But Tunney reversed that by beating Greb in a return bout. The end of round one. In the second and third rounds, Tunney outboxes and outpunches Carpentier. Now round four of this 15 round international bout between Gene Tunney former world's light heavyweight champion, and Georges Carpentier, the Orchid Man of France. Polo Grounds, New York. Carpentier on the left. Carpentier's had 99 fights. He's won 86, 51 by knockouts. Gene Tunney is one of the great boxers of the fight game. He has a stinging left hook, a good hard right cross, and the best left jab in the business. Carpentier's got a real knockout punch in his overhand right. He throws it with a charging leap off the floor. He leads with it quite a lot. The end of round four. In the next two rounds, Carpentier carries the fight to Tunney, but Tunney scores with his counter punching. Now round seven. Carpentier facing us. Down. Carpentier's jumping like he does when he throws his right results in a lot of arguments about him being fouled. It's easy to see how that happens, too. His opponent starts to swing, and when Carpentier goes into the air, the punch is very liable to land below the belt.
tonight's rounds, the pace continues fast without either man showing signs of tiring. Now round 10. First knockdown. It's Carpentier. Tony used a beautiful left hook, right upper cut combination, perfectly timed. Carpentier took a seven count. Carpentier didn't take a count on that second knockdown. He may be out on his feet. Wonderful courage. Wonderful fighting heart, that Carpentier. Tony's trying to wrap this fight up right now. He's not boxing now. He's trying to put Carpentier away for keeps. Carpentier taking an awful beating. The referee wants to stop it, but Carpentier won't let him. He wants to fight. for him. Gets up at the counter now and he just made it. Well, you never saw such raw courage. The referee was hit by a right cross from Carpentier. And the bell saves Carpentier from a knockout. In the 11th, 12th, and 13th rounds, Carpentier makes a great comeback and outscores Tunney. Now the 14th round of this international heavyweight fight between Gene Tunney and George Carpentier. Polo Grounds, New York, July 24th, 1924. Carpentier on the right. Carpentier made a lot of friends in 1921 when he made his great stand against Jack Dempsey. But he never won more friends than so far tonight. 30,000 rabbit fans screaming for him, rooting for him to win. Carpentier's last big chance. He's 30 years old, and he's got to win this one, or he's all through as a serious contender. Tony's cool in complete command. He's ahead on points. And only one more round after this one. He can't lose unless he gets knocked out.
Carpenter is hurt. He's down. The bell ends the round. Tony threw a hard smash to the body just as Carpenter started to leap into the air. Carpenter claims a foul. His manager and seconds are yelling foul. The referee insists the punch was fair. It was a blow to the stomach just above the belt. Tunney says the blow is fair. Round 15. Tunney's the winner. Carpenter's manager and handlers are still claiming a foul. There's pandemonium at ringside. Most of the newspaper men say the punch was fair. The referee refuses the claim of foul. Tunney has left the ring. And Gene Tunney is the winner by a knockout in the 15th round. <laughs>